All right, welcome in everybody. Let's see what's going on for the collective right now. This is a twin flame reading and some of you do know, but some of you don't know that twin flame is internal, um, that I could be talking about your internal masculine and feminine just as easily as I could be talking about a, an actual 3D human being who's external to you. Uh, take this however it resonates though, okay? So um, I don't want you to get too caught up in that idea of twin flame as a relationship, more of it as an energetic, spiritual awakening process, okay? So let's see where we go. Um, this is for the collective. This is early December, December 4 through 11. Let's see where we go. It's a weekly reading. I will look at the individual divine feminine, divine masculine collectives. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden. Okay, well, we'll just see where we go. Hold on, please. Hold on. All right. So we've got this energy of Capricorn. This is the power card. This is the power card. There is a shadow element to this. There is earth energy. I'm taking that. Okay, so this makes sense to me because this is kind of grounded in that idea about what I was just talking about with the twin flame as relationship kind of experience as opposed to recognizing it is a spiritual path and it's also something that exists within you own, like it doesn't have to be connected to any other person for you to be um, energetically walking that twin flame path. So you all, you know, who are, who's ever watching this is really kind of twisted around in that idea right now. Um, that is for me, this is the left side of the reading as I'm doing it. That's divine feminine energy, which is interesting because that, that has come out as masculine. So the feminine energy is really focused on the 3D right now. The masculine energy, <laughs> interesting that I said focus, focus, and it's like pointing right at the divine feminine growth. This is for divine masculine karmic path and underneath is trust. All right. So the masculine energy, and like I said, if you're thinking about this as your own particular divine masculine, you know, how do you feel about what you're doing in the world. Uh, the divine masculine is the physical twin. Um, it is the 3D expression of the twin connection. There's a lot of anxiety around growth. Uh, it is coming through this, this very karmic door. So some divine masculine, if you are identifying yourself as divine masculine, this is also an energy. It's not a gender. So if you're divine, if you're aligning yourself more with this reading with the masculine energy, then there is something about kind of walking this path with a new awareness. Some of the divine masculine energy in us has really awakened uh, away from the, the 3D expression. So some of you, what I said in the beginning about how people get twisted around in this, um, you know, they're looking at solely a 3D expression of an energetic um, experience of twin, twin flame. What I'm getting here is that the masculine energy that is aligning with divine, the divine masculine energy is aligning with a spiritual path and a fem, the feminine energy usually referred to as the spiritual partner is aligning more with a physical um journey. So that's some that's a bit of like switched, right? The the feminine is aligning more as the as the um as the physical partner and the masculine is aligning more as the spiritual partner. Now what that says to me is internally people are now able to embrace the other side of the journey. So if you've always been experiencing this uh and been fairly aligned with the divine feminine energy, now you may fe you may feel much more aligned with the divine masculine and vice versa. Okay. So kind of interesting. Let's see what's going on for the feminine, the feminine and the masculine, and then the collective in the middle here. So what is going on for the divine feminine energy? Those of us who are aligning with divine feminine, regardless of gender, let's see, you are definitely connected to a divine masculine energetic experience of one that's now more spiritual. This is a blending. This is like a blending. This is a, a really positive step forward. Okay, so let's see. 
Um, yes, Seven of Pentacles underneath for the feminine. I'm getting the Hermit card, the Nine of Pentacles. There's so much focus on healing the money or healing uh, our connection to um, a physical expression, which can be about abundance or money and needing to put down anything that has been blocking that. Ten of Wands. Some of you guys may be going through some kind of karmic energy. Remember I said this was Capricorn. So we are going to be moving into Capricorn at the end of December. Capricorn energy is aligned with 10th house, with career, with money, with abundance issues. Um, and I feel like the feminine is being, uh, and this is there's Virgo here, there's Cancer here. So divine feminine is healing this relationship, this shadow relationship to power. All right. Divine feminine is definitely healing this and the masculine energy internal to the feminine is being healed. Okay. With that four of swords here, it shows up in your life as self-confidence, the ability to move through the 3d life as a self-confident person. I feel like that is what's attracting. If you know, you are looking at this as a relationship relationship, reading that is what's attracting the divine masculine i've always felt that the chariot energy is an is a, a coupling is a is a blending of masculine and feminine so that is showing up very strongly on this divine feminine side of the reading six of swords look at that masculine the person moving the boat and then the fe the feminine energy sort of uh nurturing the child very very interesting here there's some kind of uh, growth happening through the divine feminine. Not only are they healing their relationship to the physical world, but they're healing inner child issues around that. Okay, there's a child there. She's nurturing. They're healing. Uh, divine feminine is healing their relationship to money. All right. Seven. Oh, uh, sorry. Not seven of swords. Page of swords. Opportunity is the fool. New beginning, new expansion, new expression. Three of Cups, Celebration, Knight of Wands, Movement Forward, Archangel Michael, there we are, Temperance card, and the Six of Wands. So the feminine is definitely overcoming a sense of <clears throat> inadequacy as it relates to being able to make your own way in the physical world. Some of you may have had challenges around that. Some of you are now getting creative downloads from Archangel Michael. There's the Knight of Wands and the Temperance card. Some of you are getting messages, just downloads in general about the spiritual path here. There's the Fool and the Page of Swords. Um, the the w reason you're getting these downloads or if you're wondering how that happened is that you focused on your own self-care. You focused on your own self-love. You focused on on uh, putting time and energy toward the work that's in front of you instead of focusing on another person outside of you. Very much focus on healing internal uh, expressions uh, or being okay with um, how money works in your life. Being okay with it. I feel like some of you have not been okay with it because it's you're healing your relationship to power. Some of you are definitely healing a father wound, okay? A wound that happened because of your father or um, a stunting of your growth in the physical expression of yourself on this planet as it relates to love as well, okay? And, you know, there is this, <laughs> I always get this feeling about like divine masculine when we're talking about a feminine healing their relationship to a masculine or to the masculine culture uh, is through the relationship you had with your father. Okay. So if you want to understand what your issues are around money, because earth is there too, money, abundance, love, relationships, it's really looking to the father. Okay. It's looking to your lineage, your ancestral lineage in terms of father wounds or your own father wounds. That is a big message for the divine feminine right now. The masculine uh, is on a karmic path here. Queen of wands, healing the relationship to passion. Okay. So there's the, the star card, the seven of pentacles. Again, we get the 10 of wands. We get the 10 of wands and the five of cups. Some of you, uh, some of you who identify as primarily divine masculine, uh, I feel like uh, you might have 
um, felt like you had to carry the burden of everybody around you, or you are uh, now recognizing that you can follow your own passions. That is something that's really going to be growth oriented for the masculine uh, part of us. And it is coming from an internal wellspring of passion. That's what the masculines are going to be challenged with right now. And there's the hermit again. So there's the Virgo card. Virgo is about doing things that relate to our well-being situation. Happy. Lots of healing of inner child wounds as it relates to the traditional masculine feminine roles. Okay. Yes. Yes. Opportunity here is the Ace of Swords to get clear on this. Two of Wands, King of Swords, lots of clarity here. Justice, nice balance. I'm going to move this over a little bit. And the Eight of Swords, it's got to come from inside. This is not something that is necessarily coming from the twin, although the, the looking of the internal space here with this Ten of Wands and the Hermit, it's like looking where you've uh, overdone or, or um, overcompensated. Mm, I don't know. Looking for what you've done that has... Um, meant that you didn't want to look directly into the eyes of the of the um, challenge. It's sort of like, what did you do to kind of overcompensate for that? So uh, some of you who in divine feminine um, energy have not really wanted to look into your relationship with father. Instead, you chose a husband or you chose a masculine path in life or something like that. If you don't, if you didn't marry someone who was going to do it for you, you likely had stepped really into that masculine energy and now are feeling like it's out of balance. Like maybe your work life balance is really off. Okay. So feminines are working on that piece of it. Masculines are working on joy, uh, joy, creativity, fun. And that's been something that has been um, much more given to the realms of the child or given to the realms of the relationship uh, of raising children or something like that. There's a very uh, beautiful nurturing energy here, healing uh, around the masculine with that star card. So we have star, we have four swords, lots of, lots of mirror mirroring here, lots of mirroring here. So let's see what's going on with the connection. Take this however it resonates for you, okay? Some of you might only have a few messages here. Some of you may have the story might be, you know, right right on target for you. If you're not resonating with it, then this is not your story, okay? Um, let's see. What wants to come through for the collective right now? Okay. Hi, Priestess. I will pull cards for each zodiac sign in the extended just to give you some deeper information. Hi, Priestess. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. This is about not being good enough. Seven of Cups. Four of Cups and the Fool. All right. We're moving on from this story. So I doubt that this storyline is going to show up very much more. I've seen it for a little while here this year, and I almost feel like when, you know, if since we're talking about Capricorn and this really is Pluto, right? It's like um, that that energy of power. Pluto is um, the higher octave of Scorpio. Um, and I feel like Capricorn is connected to this. I also feel like um, the Tower card. All right. So a lot of a lot of aligning or freeing oneself from how you're connected to father energy. Divine feminine is coming through and the masculine can have identified with father energy, father time being kind of the one who's kind of overseeing everything or putting everybody on their back and now just really wanting to be free. Okay. Wanting to be the lighthearted one, wanting to have fun, wanting to have some joy. So this is for the collective, the three of swords. It's like an ending to an old way of life because now look at that. That's union right there, right there. Um, physical union, the world, eight of cups, the opportunity. Some of you are ending. Oh, definitely. Some of you are ending an old way of life. Some of you are healing your relationship to father. Okay. Either being one, uh, or having one <laughs> that kind of, um, 
hierarchical masculine figure. Now we do have Pluto moving into from Aquarius from Capricorn into Aquarius in the in the middle or late to part late part of January. So that is stepping into that energy of renovation and uh, reinvention and things like that. Like we're really ending our relationship, our any kind of toxicity. Not not bad relationship to father, but toxicity around a relationship to father. Two of swords, ace of swords again, and the outcome is the hermit. The hermit is now shown up in all three. Hermit is Virgo energy and Virgo, um, Virgo energy. A lot of people think about Virgo as the sacred servant uh, or the energetic expression of daily routines and day job and nine to five. And all of that's true. But hermit to me, uh, I feel like what goes very un, there's a lot of unsung energy around Virgo as the healer, okay, and the sacred servant. So there's a healing of a karmic path. There's a healing of a shadow. There's a healing and growth around relationship to power. So masculine, if you are physically represented, representing yourself as a masculine, whatever gender you're in, there's definitely something about healing that. Uh, that which you think you are supposed to do. There's this should, should, supposed to, um, a prescribed kind of um, uh, a struggle with a role that is too small, too small and not joyful enough. Okay. If that's how your father expressed himself in this life and you're kind of healing that, um, you're definitely, it's definitely, uh, coming to a head or it's coming to a close or it's coming to fruition in some way. So let me talk, let me see. It's not a matter of timing. This is something that's going on right now. As soon as you take action, right? It's about actions and healing and dealing with the shadow and the, of this power. Okay, dealing with the shadow of power. Now, I'm gonna I'm seeing this ace of swords. I feel like some of you, some of you have been going through this transformation, this transition, and not really wanting to either see your father how he truly was, or not wanting to see the truth of it. There's something about the truth of it. It's like you mythologize this person or this expression of masculine power. Kind of mythologized it. Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the King of Wands. Oh, isn't that beautiful? All right. So there's something here about being inspired now. Uh, the new, the new kind of expression of masculinity is going to be uh, embracing love, right? And that's that's a um, you know age of Aquarius kind of thing that the masculine becomes less hierarchical and more passionate king and queen of wands here uh more able to embrace joy and fun and releasing that kind of stereotype of the masculine um as dominating or controlling or powerful right so this is like a clearing of this karmic path a clearing of the divine masculine wow Wow. All right. Let's see how that unfolds. Like I said, I'll pull cards for each Zodiac sign in the extended. Uh, both of you, uh, this could be internal to you. Like I said, if you are expressing yourself as a feminine gender uh, or a masculine gender, you have both masculine and feminine inside you. So there can be this like raging battle of uh, I want to do something creative and fun versus I want, I know I need, I have responsibilities, right? That I have to fulfill. And like, as if those two things can't be integrated but that's what i feel like is happening is there's a creative integration of masculine and feminine so that the uh the um hierarchical masculine the old way of doing masculine is no longer required right it's no longer necessary and the feminine's relationship to that masculine either as allowing the father to kind of do their bidding or run the show or whatever it is like that's not required anymore either wow this is kind of a big shift um all right. So if this is resonating for you, there's a link below and uh, we'll talk about it more in the extended. So I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, 
check out these videos.